Hello, did you know that Survey Analytics has many ways that you can share the data with your colleagues or clients on a real-time basis, either or automatically, as well as give them an opportunity to go in and dive deeper on their own and do their own analytics? Let me go ahead and highlight with you today our dashboard accounts. Now with our dashboard accounts, it's a separate license in which they can go in and do their own analytics. It also gives you the opportunity to directly automate any kind of reports that you want to set up. So it's very similar to how sub accounts are used. However, they don't have access to create or edit surveys or send surveys, and they don't have options to look at any mobile integration panel, flashlet, or social tabs. It's just strictly anything from analytics. And from within side here, you'll also be able to go in and customize what kind of reports that you would like to share with them. So if there are any particular items um, in the dashboard reports and you want to filter them out according to um, you know different data segmentations um, or different items that they may or may not want to see in terms of question types that you want to share with them specifically, you can do that um, with our custom tools. So inside the custom tools, you'll be able to create a custom dashboard. And from inside there, you'll be able to click in here, specify what questions. You can add logos, all sorts of good stuff. And then you'll be able to also specify within here what kind of filters that you would like to include. So by adding um, advanced analysis and applying any data segmentations that you've built, you can then have those available with the custom dashboard. So you can see these are my two custom dashboards. And with those, I'll be able to specifically point out what questions they would like to see and then also apply the needed filters. So if I'm interested in looking at the results for just Young Hollywood, I can then <clears throat> specify by the data filter that I put together, which is Young Hollywood. And then you'll notice how the changes in the results below. And then you can also apply older Hollywood and see the difference in changes below as well. Once you've applied those, you can then go in and use the dashboard accounts to set up uh, a report scheduler if you haven't done those before. You can go in and specify who you'd like to send it to and a dashboard will be part of the list in which you can specify who you want to send it to. And so these are multiple users and your dashboard emails will be available here. Once you have that set up and then you've also talked to your customer success manager and decided how many licenses you'd like to use, the next thing you want to do is click on my account, go to multi-user admin, scroll down to the dashboard accounts, add users, put first name, last name, email address, and password, confirm the password, and then you can specify what folders that you would like to share with people, and you can click on purchase account, but the purchase account just means that you've already purchased it ahead of time, you can just go ahead and process it through. And with mine, you can see I have esther.rmh3 at surveyanalytics.com. Click on that. And you can also go in, edit the email address. So if you want to change and share this with another person later down the road, you can. You can reset the password. You can email it. And you also have the option to change the folder access here or under surveys and you also can log in as the user. So let's go ahead and take a look 
uh, what the user will see in their dashboard account. Inside the dashboard account, you can now see that they have the options here with the dashboard reports, custom dashboards, as well as summary report, online text, Microsoft Office exports, as well as choice modeling, online tools, and text analytics. So here you can go ahead and click on the custom dashboard if you like, and this will specify the different filters that you've applied to your survey so you can point out the things that they would probably be interested in looking at. So as that opens up, you can also see that we have some Microsoft Office export options that they can download as well. So it's uh, fully baked in in which they can do a lot of deep diving of their own data analytics and then also download any data that they would like and do any filtering as needed. So it's a very comprehensive license and, um, and it's very flexible in which you can, how you would like to share it with different clients as well as colleagues. And that's pretty much the gist of the custom dashboards. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your customer support manager or your customer success manager and they'd be happy to help you get some pricing as well as some use cases for you to consider. Thank you very much and have a great day.